In a previous video, we explored how resisted range of motion used isometric contraction to evaluate contractile tissue. This gave us information about a group of muscles performing an action. So how do manual muscle tests differ? Manual muscle tests are used to evaluate the strength and function of individual muscles as opposed to the group of muscles. So this helps us determine what is injured more specifically than simply using a resisted range of motion test. Why do we use manual muscle tests? They are commonly used in massage therapy practice to assess muscle strength, muscle endurance, and the potential injury to muscle, its tendon, or its point of attachment. Some important concepts for manual muscle tests. The test position. You will want to position the joint in such a way that biases the target muscle. The optimal test position for a one joint muscle, or a muscle that behaves as a one joint muscle, is at the completion of range. The optimal test position for a multiple joint muscle is at the mid range of muscle length. Pressure is defined as the external force applied by the examiner used to apply resistance. Resistance is the external force that opposes the test movement. How do we perform a manual muscle test? First, you will explain to the patient what you will be doing. Then you will place the patient in a position that provides whole body stability. Next, you will position the joint in test position. Then you will stabilize the proximal part of the joint. At this point, you will observe if the patient can maintain this position against gravity, meaning there is no extra pressure being applied. Then you will apply slow, steadily increasing pressure directly opposite the line of pull of the muscle. Then you will slowly decrease the pressure when completing the test. Glossary of important terms. Agonist, synergist, substitution or compensation, antagonist, concentric contraction, eccentric contraction, isometric contraction.